Okay. They need to go all in on whatever Sean Payton is selling them, mm -hmm. and they need to drop uh, all ego at the door, and they need to drop all the stuff from last year. I thought last year I picked – Russell Wilson as my MVP before the season. And I take pride on knowing the league and doing mm. all the work. And I, mm. I took Nathaniel Hackett as my coach of the year before the season last mm -hmm. year. And I wear that proudly on this show because I have enough confidence to tell you I was dead wrong and it went 180 degrees different than I thought it would. Um, they need to erase all that. And anything that Russ had that was considered privileged last year or was considered special treatment last year, that's got to be stopped the second they start going to mandatory minicamp. Um, and I look at the Broncos and I look at some of those additions. They didn't add a flashy wide receiver. They didn't do a crazy trade at draft day. They added Sean Payton, so they get, of course, some championship pedigree. But then they go and they get... Mike McClinchy from the San Francisco 49ers, who is a sturdy offensive tackle, who is going to do the job protecting their quarterback. Then the next one, they get Draymond Jones, who might not be a household name everywhere, but Draymond Jones comes in as a sixth year defensive tackle, who's had 46 career starts and is one of these guys that is just everyone around the league is like, oh no, that dude's great. That, that's a great signing. That's a, that's a guy that you build around on the inside. Um, you know, I look at this team and I say that this is a squad that they've got a lot of stuff that they can do and they can get better and they of course have the talent on the roster but they've got the coach now too. I don't know. I look at the Broncos and I'm like I'm pretty excited. It's not Draymond Jones. I got the wrong name. I'm gonna he, he was there. He, he left was there. That was the wrong name. They erased the whole show. Let's start all over. That was stupid. <laughs> Draymond Jones. Oh, you, you. Who's the defensive player they added? Someone in uh, the production. Zach Allen coming from Arizona. Zach Allen yes. off the edge is who they added. They lost Draymond Jones. I'm so embarrassed. I'm walking off. Exactly. Take a lap. Take a lap. <laughs> that was Take bad. a lap in that yeah. cardigan. All right, Broncos fans. <laughs> go. Someone else go. Thanks, producers. Uh, we're, we're taking over. I like that you spotted right, and pointed out his car again, but he'll be back soon. Uh, I look at the Denver Broncos and yes. Yes, Deshaun Payton, Russ, they got to be better to offense, this, that, and the third. The division they're in, a division that has Patrick Mahomes up and coming and Justin Herbert, who's just breaking, broken every passing record since he's come into the league for a young quarterback. At some point defensively, you have to find a way to get a stop. In the last few years, the Denver Broncos have been one of the better defenses in the NFL. And Ejero Vero, he's gone. He's not on the team anymore. You go back from when Vic Fangio was there. It is now a familiar face who's going to be walking the sidelines and is going to be calling the defense for them, and that's Vance Joseph. He is mm -hmm. back, and this guy was the head coach for the Denver Broncos for two seasons where they had 11 wins. Now he's back in the building. There's only two players there, and Justin Simmons was one of those guys who was there when Vance was there, and he talked about it. He's happy to have him back. He's excited. He loved him as a coach. They didn't have a ton of success there, and for him, he runs a defense that is more of an attacking defense, wants to put pressure, and you saw that in Arizona where the numbers weren't stellar, weren't great, but he was a guy where you would see everybody up at the line of scrimmage to try to put a ton of fear in defenses while he was their defensive coordinator. Now when you take over, how much of his style does he implement right away? When you have guys who've been running a defense a certain way, how fast are they able to buy into his philosophy? How fast are they able to get them to learn his terminology and the things that he wants to do defensively? For the Denver Broncos to be able to compete, can you get Patrick Mahomes off the field during a two-minute drill? Can you force Justin Herbert to throw an interception when it matters most in those type of games? In that division, you're going to have to come up with big stops. And they have the probably mm -hmm. the best cornerback or one of the best in Patrick Sertain and Justin Simmons, mm -hmm. one of the best safeties in the game. How much are they able to buy into what's being sold by Vance Joseph and turn it into production on the football field. They have really good players and really good coaches. I, I, it, I just It's so much rust to me. Mm. You know, we, we just showed the Chiefs visiting the White House. The Seahawks visited the White House. I pulled up the picture, and it's it's the Seahawks with Obama. Like, Russ looks like a baby. It was nine mm. years ago. Peter, I'll put you on the spot. Yeah. There's Obama, and Russ Wilson's right next to him. What other Seahawks player is on the other side of the president? Who do you think it was? I'll say the MVP, Malcolm Smith. That's a great prediction. It's Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin. It's Doug Baldwin. And there's Percy Harvin right there. It's a hell of a picture. Russ. Take a time to look at it. I, my question is, does he have any shot of ever going to the White House with his team again. Mm. This president, next president, doesn't matter. You don't see a season like we just saw where a fantastic player who so many people think will be a Hall of Famer has that rough of a season in the middle of his career. He changed teams, he changed coaches. You know, 
Peyton Manning changed teams and changed coaches. Uh, Aaron Rodgers changed coaches in the middle of his time at Green Bay. He's now changing teams. I don't think that ever happened. You just don't see it. And was it because Nathaniel Hackett is the worst coach of all time? I, 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 maybe it had something to do with it. It's not that he didn't win the MVP like Peter predicted. It's just he wasn't relevant at all. And I don't want to dig that up more or less. I'm just moving forward. Like, you got to be great right now. Yeah. If you're landing in the NFC and Russ is decent next year, the Broncos can <laughs> do some things. <laughs> My God, you're in that yeah. gauntlet. And not just the AFC. You're in the AFC West gauntlet. He needs to be fantastic. And I love Sean Payton as much as the next guy, but it was rough last year. It was really rough. And I think there were locker room issues with him, and I think there were image issues. And more than anything, it was just performance. It just wasn't getting done. He didn't look anything like a Mahomes or Herbert or Allen. Anybody. He's got to be great this year. If he comes back this year and he's like, oh, Russ had a nice little bounce back here, they're done. You can't have a nice little anything in the AFC. The Broncos need to make the playoffs. They need to scrap into a wild card game. That'd be great. Lose a wild card game 21 to 10. Successful season. That's where we're at with them. If he's decent, if he's good, they're not going to get there. He needs to be really good yeah. next year. I, I don't know if he has an enough. Have, I mean, I don't know. Is that still there? That's the question. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, they have a great roster and they have a great coach. I don't know if they have a great quarterback still. We have to find out. Kyle, to your point about when you were talking about these other guys have changed teams, Peyton's changed teams, Aaron's changed teams, of, Tom's changed yeah. teams. Um, well, I want to say they don't necessarily turn around and win the Super Bowl, although Peyton did it with another team. Look, so all his peers but, do it. Phillip Rivers changed teams and was in the playoffs in the first year. Like, you do it, and yeah. you adjust because you're that good. I, he needs to adjust this year. But what, what you don't see for these guys that are these super high caliber quarterbacks and face of the franchise guys you don't see, even if you have a hiccup on the field, you don't see kind of all the stuff that happened off the field. Like, mm. you've just never seen that sort of um, implosion, like, both uh, simultaneously, both on and off the field in the way that that Agreed. shook out. A question, though, I have for you, Peter, though, is, as we were talking about this, mm. is so much is put on Sean Payton, I feel like. And, and we were talking about it even with Aaron Rodgers being the biggest offseason acquisition. You said, well, maybe it's Sean Payton. I mean, we talk about him, though, like he's throwing touchdown passes. Yep. And is it – I don't want to say it's unfair because Sean obviously took the job knowing what comes with that, right? Mm -hmm. But is Sean Payton expected to be this messiah? I mean, yeah. he's expected to be this messiah. Is that, that salary, completely fair? At that at that salary, at what he's making, and when they went on this worldwide search where they could have hired anybody they wanted and they gave it to Sean Payton, he came out of retirement for this – yeah, I don't, I, I, and I, I don't think failure is an option. Mm. But considering he can't step on the field, we, I feel like we talk about Sean like he can throw four touchdowns in a game and he can, um, you know, mend whatever relationship. I, I don't know. It's yeah. just almost like Sean Payton. They got anointed because of Sean Payton, and um, that's not, that's not a knock on Sean Payton. It's just like it feels like so much yeah. is being asked can of I take Sean it a step Payton. Further too? Yeah, go ahead. Sean Payton won one Super Bowl. Oh, no, I know. So it, we talked about him going to the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy won one. Super Super Bowl, we brought up the wins, losses, and the whole nine. So it's a very interesting point to your what you're saying is just that I don't know. And even for Russ, what if he does play great this season? And we talked about all the quarterbacks in the AFC. Is it okay if Russ plays great and they just missed the playoffs, not because of his bad play, but just yeah. no. Trevor Lawrence played? They can't miss they the playoffs win? this year. I think it's a great failure if they miss the playoffs. They're paying Russell Wilson as much as any mm. quarterback in the league. They're paying a coach more than any coach in the league, mm -hmm. uh, uh, close to. Yeah. I, I don't think it's acceptable to miss the playoffs. Mm -hmm. 